So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. That's right, headquarters is still not full, at least with me, I'm in Central America. Let me know if your guys' headquarters is actually filling up with people. I've been hearing some reports, but we already know PC has it full. But if it's your first time around here and you do go on to learn something, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. But I'm just saying, my headquarters right now in Central America is still a solo experience. Even though people are reporting that they're getting filled up, I happen to think it's only on PC that it's happening. I could be wrong. It could be a time zone thing. Maybe it's not pushed out to me yet. But Slick Killer did confirm that there are 10 prestiges in zombies. He went on to say on prestige 10, when you reach rank 45, you directly go to rank 46, all the way to an unknown number. Do you guys think we're going to rank 1,000? So welcome to Grizz Zombies. My name's Violent, and I've opened a lot of online multiplayer supply drops. But nothing quite like this. I got my very first weapon in Zombies that has an actual zombie perk on it. Now this one here is called Efficient. The description reads, Multi-kills grant a bonus to the special ability meter. And this actually works. I did test this myself. So I picked this up from the magic box. It's the only place you can get the bar. And this happens to be an epic version of the bar. It's not heroic. We will get to a heroic weapon that looks sexy AF. But right now we're talking about my first weapon with an actual zombie perk on it. And I'm going to be going after these types of weapons because I don't know how many there are currently actually in the inventory for zombie supply drops. Let me know in the comment section if you know how many weapons are heroics for, that have zombie perks. Because I kind of want to go after all of them. And I feel like that's a primary mission here that we should have in this playlist. But I mean, as you guys know, within my videos, we also have another series going, and that is Golden Wall Weapons. And currently, I do have the M1 complete. You guys have seen the footage on that. At the end of this video, I will show you the Greaser Gun. I actually just got that wall weapon gold, so I have the Tesla Room basically done. However, let's take a look at the Zombie Perk Efficient and see how it works with the multi-kills actually filling up the meter. The results will genuinely surprise you. So as I fire upon this herd, look at my super bar as it's filling up. I mean, that was just one clip. And you know, everyone in multiplayer talks about, oh, the bar got a nerf. Yeah, it's still awesome. Well, if it's still awesome in multiplayer, that weapon, that version, the Flyboy, is absolutely fantastic in zombies. I absolutely recommend you look for that in your zombie supply drops out there. Or, you can get it just from multiplayer supply drops, so do those orders, get those bounties done. But in multiplayer, how it works is you don't have direct access to the gun until you're to a certain rank. So, I'm not going to use a prestige token on that. In fact, I'm saving that prestige token, because why not, you know? I don't need to use it. When I get to that rank, I guess that's when I can use the gun. But I can still go into zombies and check it out. And that's primarily what I want to talk about is the zombie perk that I can get from these, doing these multiplayer supply drops is amazing. So kind of the grind that I'm on is getting weapons right now. And here's another weapon I got, the battle watch. And that's the heroic version. And from what I can tell, if you get an epic, it's a dirty version, like it looks dirty. And if you get a heroic version, it's really shiny and sexy AF. So the Battle Watch 2 was actually a rifle, the M1941. It actually looked like a shotgun on the actual icon when I opened the supply drop, but it's actually a rifle. So when I pick this bad boy up, the first thing you're gonna notice is, oh, this is shiny. You know, there's some extra attributes to this gun as well. There's you know, the cloth on the front, and it just shows that some cares went into this weapon. Somebody actually really cared about this and kept this weapon up to par and in shape. That's what makes it heroic, and if you guys have not seen one of these types of weapons or gotten zombie perks on any epic weapons, I definitely wanted to showcase that, so we got it on the channel, and now we know what it's like. There is a lot of people saying we're lacking content, and I sympathize with you. I definitely agree with you in some stances. I do have uh, goals within the means of which 
we're given and what we're given right now you know is the grind for golden wall weapons that's something i'm trying to achieve uh as i go around the zombie maps i would absolutely love to see each and every one of my weapons just a gold camo straight up like a g and so that's a grind that i'm on the new grind that i'm starting today in this video is for heroic weapons with zombie perks i want to get as many of those as i can i'll showcase the rest in other videos moving forward once I get them but zombie perks are definitely weapons I want to be covering and let me know in the comments below if you've gotten any zombie perks on any of your weapons because it's amazing but heroic versions I'm not sure if they actually carry zombie perks so if you got a heroic weapon with an actual zombie perk on it let me know I am stalling a little bit on beating the hardcore easter egg and I could be doing that faster but I'm not in a big hurry you know the whole hunt for it was spoiled and so I just now have to go research it if I'm gonna watch a video on the actual Easter egg guide I'm gonna go check out my man Greg FPS for sure I'll link his full Easter egg guide down in the description box below but that's the one that I would recommend to anybody and if you're curious about Major Hank Redeu here in the social space if you don't know anything about him I'll have a video dedicated just about him in the comment section below that'll be the first link in the description box so check that out but I figured the grind in multiplayer right now heavily outweighs grinding in zombies. There's no use going for Prestige 2. I got 8 zombie supply drops on my way to Prestige 1. And ever since that time, I've been earning zombie supply drops in-game. But I'm not actually being awarded them at the end of the game. So there's some sort of glitch going on right now with zombie supply drops. So I'm not really grinding it. In fact, I'm just trying to improve the meta behind the weapons. So I'm in multiplayer taking stuff out, getting things gold on my way to Prestige 2, but uh, slowly but surely we'll get there. It's not that important to me right now. I want to highlight the cons right now of Prestiging. All of your Raven research, your mods are reset, your Raven tokens are reset. That's not like keys. Your keys would not have been reset upon Prestiging in Infinite Warfare Zombies. We know our armory credits are just like salvage, so why are we being reset on Raven tokens? There's no real currency that you're earning outside of the actual in-game currency in the map. And I don't really agree with that. The attachments you earn on your weapons are level based. You can't earn them through XP. I don't like that at all. And I don't know who introduced these features, but it really bothers me. Your loadouts are reset, so everything that you had custom pre-made isn't pre-set in there. You have to rename it again. You have to reapply the mods. It doesn't I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like this system of prestiging. It doesn't seem like a lot of thought was being put into rewarding players who did prestige. And I'm curious, as the further you go along prestiging, if this trend's going to continue or it's going to get better. Will updates make this experience better? Because right now, it's not that great. And Raven tokens, absolutely pointless. There's no point in saving them up, racking way more than you need. It doesn't matter. Raven tokens are junk. You're not going to be keys no matter how hard you try, Raven Tokens. I'm telling you, you're not keys. So with Call of Duty World War II nearly being out two weeks, I've reached Prestige 1. And I'm sitting up here thinking I want to improve my weapons. I want to improve the experience a little bit more. But I got hope in updates that things are going to get better here with the Prestige grind and the integration in Headquarters. Something I wanted to absolutely do is get my greaser gun all the way gold and as you can see I did achieve that so that will be number two wall weapons that I have on my channel actually gold on the wall and I'm really happy I got this one done because I want to move on to the type 100 and PPSH which are also wall weapons and the M1 Garand is a great weapon it's very powerful but I'm starting to move more into the rifle categories now and that's something I definitely wanted to get checked off the box you know so now that I have the grease gun done I'm gonna be working on getting my headshots for the type 100 and I'm already a little ways into that but I just wanted to showcase to you guys that I absolutely got the grease gun finished and I'm really proud of that work so let me know where you guys are currently at and what grinds you're on because we don't really have weekly bounties yet daily missions are happening that you can get multiplayer supply drops in but zombies is not integrated all the way into headquarters and that's something I'd like to see improved. If you guys want an update on the Tesla upgrades, I did make this sheet. With the help of Greg FPS and his hardcore easter egg, 
I used his information to actually make this. So in the description, check out Greg's video. Screenshot that image. It's your guys's. I got this weird pistol also in a supply drop. It's called the Holtz Pistole. And it's really weird because it really changes up the machine pistol and how it looks. Believe me, I want to get the high mat machine pistol, but this one is crazy. This epic machine pistol doesn't have an actual zombie perk on it, but it has a really long nose and it looks strange. I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.